So what's up guys? Got Dave here. And I just wanted to talk about horsepower versus hassle. And when I am faced with the, that decision between those two things, I will definitely pick the horsepower. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I would definitely pick not having a hassle versus having more power. And that is honestly one of the main reasons why I have left this Grom completely stock. And I mean, I've, I've got more mods on this bike than pretty much any of my other bikes, but I haven't touched the engine as far as like making more power. Yeah, you know, it makes a little bit more power than stock because when I got that side cover from Kotako, it uses a cartridge oil filter. And when you install that side cover, you remove the oil slinger that's inside this engine. And it's basically like a three pound flywheel that you're taking out of the engine. You know, it's a heavy freaking chunk. So by not having it in there, it definitely feels like this engine is faster, but at the same time, it's not really, like I didn't like raise the compression or put a big bore kit or put an exhaust or any of the things, any of the many things that you could do to this Grom to make it faster. I didn't do it. And honestly, why is because of horsepower versus hassle. And why, what made me think about this, like to make this video, is last weekend I was up at the rock store and I saw the guy who came into my work, who I was talking to, that inspired me to make that, that um, two-stroke street tip video because he was talking about how he has to pre-mix the gas in his tank with, with the oil because the oil injection doesn't work anymore. Yeah, last time I rode this out to the rock store, which was actually like a couple of weeks ago now. I've been putting this video together for a few, but I rode out there and there were like two or three other guys with RD350s, tight bikes. And one of the guys was the guy that came into my work. And I was looking at his bike and instead of the stock Makunis on his bike, he had some aftermarket carbs that had like a flat slide in them. They, they were like this custom racing carburetor and like two of them that he had set up. And uh, I don't know, for some reason, it's like he didn't, he wasn't able to use the oil injection. So he's got a pre-mix in the tank now instead of just doing gas like me. And then he was looking at my odometer and I had about 32 miles on, on, the, uh, on the trip meter. And he goes, oh, is that what it takes you to get up here is 32 miles? And I go, yeah. And he goes, oh man, he goes, you're gonna have to get gas on the way home. And I go, well, you know, you think so? And he goes, dude, I've never gotten more than 60 miles out of my tank, out of a full tank of gas. And uh, so he's like, if I were you, he's like around like 45 or 50, he's all start looking for a gas station. He's all, cause you're gonna be, you're gonna be running out of gas. And uh, so I was, I was coming back home and right around 45 or 50, I stopped at a red light. And so I pulled the gas cap off and I looked in there and there was a ton of gas, dude. And when I got home, I had 75 miles because I took the long way home. I had 75 miles on my trip meter and, uh, and it still had gas in the tank and uh, quite a bit. And it makes me think I could probably get maybe like a uh, 110, maybe, you know, like 110, maybe even 120, you know, if I let it you know, start coughing and then flipped over to reserve and then kept on going. I think it might get like 110 or 120 on the tank, which is like double what he said that he gets on his bike. So to me, at that point, I don't care how much faster it is. It's not twice as fast. <laughs> I'll tell you that it's not double the power of this bike to the point that it needs to get it to be getting half the uh, mileage on the tank. To me, that's just a hassle. That's way too much pain in the butt. And that's why I'm just going to keep this bike stock. I'm going to keep it exactly how it is because it doesn't seem like it gets hot and it gets excellent gas mileage. So that's, that's what I want. <laughs> I don't want it to overheat and crap out on me and I don't want it to run out of gas and crap out on me. So good deal, man. I got home from my ride the other day and I had 75 miles on it and it still had plenty of gas in the tank and when I filled it back up it took a gallon and a half to fill it back up 
for 75 miles. So that's 50 miles to the gallon. <laughs> that's pretty good, in my opinion, because not only do two strokes use more gas than four strokes, but an air-cooled bike is, is just naturally, it's the way they are, they're gonna use more gas than a water-cooled bike, just because it, that's, it's part of keeping themselves cool. And I couldn't believe that. I was like, dude, it's getting 50 miles to the gallon. But it, honestly, like, when I am faced with that decision, like, I would rather have nine horsepower and not be pushing my bike <laughs> rather than have freaking 19 all of a sudden on this Grom and have to push it because it overheats or because it breaks down because I got it all modded out. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I would rather just leave it stock and just ride slower <laughs> and still be able to ride rather than having a modded out Grom that's freaking like a fire breathing animal but then I get stuck in traffic coming back home like going through the valley and it overheats and I have to call AAA and uh, get it flatbed at home or something you know like I don't want that I honestly don't know how much more power he's getting out of his bike versus mine or like you know like if he let me ride his bike I'd be like holy crap I'm like amazed at how much faster it is I don't know but Honestly, it better be for as much hassle as that is it better be way faster than my bike because I am totally satisfied with how fast my Yamaha is and it, it gets 50 miles to the gallon and I could go like a hundred maybe a little bit more on a tank So I'm totally cool with where it's at and I'm just gonna leave it stock So I don't know. Let me know what you think about all that and let me know like if you have done something to a bike like in the past or whatever and regretted it you know like thought that you were going to make more power but instead you just it was just a hassle so i'll talk to you later have a great day safe out there and i will see you in the next video peace